Hello, hello everybody. We are back on Minecraft Bedrock Survival. Hard difficulty, because we don't have hardcore yet. And last time we made up this nice little farmhouse right here. Since then I've added in some potato farms. And the plan behind this is once we get the villagers in here, I'm not going to have to make a whole bunch of stuff. Feed them, breed them, do with the whole nine yards. I'm just gonna make that. I'm just gonna let them take care of it. They can do it. There's enough stuff here that uh, they'll figure it out. There's job blocks. There's beds. They'll be fine. So today we are building a warehouse because we have a pirate port, we have our market, we have our farmhouse. They need a spot to you know store stuff. Cosmetically, they'll never use it, but it'll look nice. So that's what we're going to be working on today. Now, I'd like to think this is a pretty simple design. It might not be. Also, ignore the follower goal thing in the corner. That was when I was streaming over the weekend. I forgot to take it off my overlays. So for our block template today, I'm going to be using mainly spruce, a little bit of dark oak, a touch of normal oak, and stone blocks, or stone bricks. You know, just, just to give a little bit of variety. We'll scatter some broken bricks among the normal bricks. That way it breaks up it just a little bit more. The roof will mainly be made out of dark oak and stone staircases. The walls will have a little bit of stone staircase you know, spread around in them as well. I think it'll look good. All right, so this is the footprint of the build. This, that's just pretty much as big as it's gonna get. A little bit more in the front, but not by much. All right, so this will be the staircase leading up into the warehouse there we go leave a gap for the door throw down some walls Next, we're going to need some staircases. And I'm also going to need to get my uh, fences ready as well. Thing up. I think I messed something up. Here, I'll check it in a second. Alright. This, sh this should have came up flush. What, what did I boo-boo? Let's see, there's 
to here, to here. Oh, I know what it did. Okay, so I fixed the problem. I actually made two mistakes. One is at the end, I only did one instead of two. The other one is these weren't supposed to be normal blocks on the second row, I guess, it's staircases. So, I had to fix that. Now I need some spruce planks. Can we make it? Nope. Neat. Next row up. Pretty much spruce all the way around. So, that's nice and easy. Now for a tricky part. Upside down staircases. And then finish off this side with some spruce. There we go. That's in the way. And then two there. I'll fix that in a second. All right. Like, I know the one staircase is, up, uh, is the wrong way. <laughs> I will fix it in a little bit. It's not completely broken. All right, now that we're up here, we'll put a row of spruce in. And then a row of staircases. And then the walls will be fences. Back wall is spruce. Like I said, this is this is pretty easy to build. It's not too incredibly terrible. It's not really that resource heavy either. Oops. I might need another bit of scaffolding down here. Alright, surprisingly we're almost done with this. Now for the tricky part. I need to put logs going this way. All the way down on both sides. There we go. 
Let's see. We need more staircases, some planks. This ought to be simple enough. So now we're going to start the very top of the roof bit. Like this will be the first layer of the storehouse's roof. Oops, this is in the way. That's upside down. There we go. Now I'll repeat results on this side. staircases on the front. Oh, I need to go get more staircases. Give me a second. I think this should be enough. I thought I had enough staircases. I must have miscounted them. Now these ones have to be upside down. It's always nice when you get the fill in the ceiling. Now that that's done, we get to work on the roof. Legit. Because in my opinion, the stone bits around the side, I really just kind of count as the awning, more or less. So we'll take our dark oak stairs, run them down both sides. Then we'll take our stone stairs and put them on the ends. <laughs> so now that the walls are in, I need to uh, do this. Put an upside down one. And that's pretty much how it's going to go. Then move one layer in, rinse and repeat till at the top. So I will go ahead and do that real quick. Okie dokie. Just putting the last layer of roof on. Like I said, it's pretty simple. Then we run our last bit of staircases all the way across. I 
I think out of all the blocks, staircases give me the most trouble. See? See what I mean? <laughs> Try to be quick. Your person drips. Alright, so. The shell of the warehouse is pretty much done. Oh, hello, Fox. Which means all that's really left... I still haven't fixed that block yet. I'll get to it, I promise. Which means all that's left is its interior. So first things first is I'm going to put some lights in here. Just so nothing spawns. I hate to be working in here and then, you know, Creeper pops in and goes, Hello, friend, and blows everything up. That would suck. But this is pretty empty. And that's pretty bad for a storehouse. So we need to put some stuff in here. If you'll excuse me. So I put some stuff in here. They got some hay, some coal. They got some wood, different wood types too. Nice little chest. And I want to use the attic. So I grabbed some ladders. And I figured I'd just run the ladders all the way... Um. Why do you keep doing that? Oh, you know what? Those are staircases, aren't they? I can't put ladders on staircases. You'd think you'd be able to. Alright, we'll do this side. Maybe they're just covering the ladder up with the hay. Oh, I need to go one block over. Okay. Boop. Boop. We'll put this back. There we go. So yeah, I wanted to use the attic for something. You know, maybe store random stuff up here that the villagers might need. I don't know. More hay, perhaps. <laughs> Come on, trapdoor. There we go. So yeah, they've got their hay in here, they've got coal, they got wood. They are set for the winter. <laughs> it does look nice. And here we have it from the outside view. As you can see, I put some logs on the outside as well. If you guys enjoyed today's build, please like and subscribe. If you have ideas for what to add in next, let me know down in the comments below. That said, I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you later.